so um so we went to <laughs> so we went to circuit training and um oh my god like i'm smashed and the thing is that i'm feeling a bit like you guys haven't got the full context of it because we so this is my fifth class or sixth what number is it for you my fourth third or fourth so i think it's well yeah it's my fifth or sixth class and um, the truth is i've been doing really well so the last video that you saw me go to circuit training was my first class so i've done a few since then and i've been doing really well and really enjoying it my energy has been really good sounds in my face so it's okay I'm and grumpy. today we're doing the ultimate relationship program it's our second day and i thought okay let me vlog and i'll show like how i'm doing at circuit training and we can vlog the you know a bit of the ultimate relationship program and but today was intense so well, guys basically emma is a bit scared that you're gonna think she's a boss because <laughs> we went out for date night yesterday like normal people we actually decided to enjoy it we had some wine and we had some pasta gluten-free pasta so. but still it, it was full of pecorino cheese which i don't usually eat and that because i know that it just it slows me down that whole like eating stuff like pasta pecorino cheese we had some wine we had ice cream yesterday all this stuff just slows my whole system down and the quality of my energy today was like if i rate it from zero to ten it was a two you know i think it was a double a, r chip all right maybe it was a three it was like a 6.2 no it really wasn't it really wasn't because the the whole the quality of my state was different i had to use mindset a lot to get through it mm -hmm. but like my physical energy was different so it was lacking you know when i eat but right how do you feel like? I feel tired. <laughs> I feel energized. I mean, okay, I feel energized in the sense yeah. that it woke me up. Right, but like, like I need to rest yeah, my body, yeah, okay. you know. And I'll I be sitting down writing. So yeah, no, and I was bang. already, I was already feeling like I needed to, to rest my body. And then we ate crap. So, but it's amazing. Like when when I eat right, my energy is at an eight, nine, you know, kind of sometimes even ten. It's amazing. But I'm fourteen something. <laughs> But, but today I really felt a difference and it affected all my movement, it affected my willingness to push myself so I had to use mindset even harder, like I'm strong, I had to tell myself I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong but my body was just like, fuck that, <laughs> like, I'm tired, you know? So, next time you come with me, I'm eating properly and you're gonna see me crush it! <laughs> Yeah. Thank God Emma didn't listen to Pete yesterday because at the end of our what was our date I was like let's go to the gym boy let's go to the gym boy yeah and I was like forget it we've had like I had like there were small glasses and I think in total I had like one and a half glasses of wine and already like I was feeling drunk because I don't usually I don't drink much anymore but like and you wanted to go out for gin I was just like you're joking like we have circuit training tomorrow morning. And he was like, you're so not spontaneous, you're Access so not spontaneous. Like, no. It's true, I'm not that spontaneous, I'm fun. I can be, sometimes, I can be. <laughs> I am spontaneous, I'm fun, you're just, you're just reckless. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers! <laughs> conversation about next weekend you know in the sea really enjoying it it's really nice and it literally just came up for me man it came it stung me and it just it fucked up like like two, two three meters underwater like as soon as i don't do <laughs> so we're having a really nice time i'll show you this
Don't stop. I just. That's the song, fool. That's even so good. The end is done. Play another one. we've come to continue the ultimate relationship program in Gozo um, we wanted to make the we wanted to make the experience of doing the course as pleasurable as possible because the course does make you go deep so there are gonna be things that come up between you um, that you need to discuss that you're gonna disagree about that's gonna make you uncomfortable why you love a huge lizard behind your heart Really? It just came out. But I, I saw like this tail going back and I was like, oh my god, a snake. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. It's okay. So anyway, so obviously there are like kind of, you're discussing your relationship, you're discussing you as people and, and your needs. Like you focus a lot on the six human needs um, and how you meet each other's needs and what you need and, and how you can communicate to your partner what you need and whether or not you are actually willing to meet that person's need and so obviously it does it does bring up some stuff and it brings up some core issues and some old wounds and um, and so it can get to a space where it's very uncomfortable so we wanted to make we wanted to go deep and go to the discomfort because it's absolutely necessary to have a thriving relationship you need to be that honest and that raw together and at the same time we wanted to keep the experience as pleasurable and enjoyable as possible you know so kind of we it's a 10 day course and we decided to do it in five days so we even crash coursed it so even just to make sure we went working all like we went just just working all the time like we took days off from work so that we could just focus on this and just focus on ourselves and we treated this as a sort of staycation so we didn't um we we didn't go away but we like as in but well we came to gozo so it's kind of a vacation it's a vacation it's a vacation <laughs> so um but we just kind of we, we wanted to just like enjoy it take it easy have some time to rest you know we've both been like really busy just like everybody's been busy like we've been like working very hard um you know and so we said like kind of we'll just make it as pleasurable as possible focus on the ultimate relationship program do all the exercises do the homework and um and enjoy so we came to gozo and it's it's beautiful and we're just enjoying some time by the sea and what's the plan i think we'll go mm. i think we'll we'll eat eh? and then we'll go back and do more yeah and then we'll come swimming again. I'd like to stay for a while though, I don't really want to eat, like, you know you're hungry. But... No, no, I want to dry up and stay in the sun. Yeah, yeah I'd like to spend like 25 minutes an hour before we leave. Cool. Let me just go have breakfast somewhere and we'll get on with it, mate. Peace. <laughs> Completing our ultimate relationship vlog and Lulu wants to be in it. I'm a part of the relationship. Very important part. Very she important. Is. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. 
the glue in the tagliatelle or something. Get out. Bye. Okay, you ready? Okay. Hola, friends. Um, okay, let me try again. Um, how do you do? Um, Voila. So, we're back. We haven't spoken to you for almost a month. So, we started Ultimate Relationship Program on the 7th of June. And today is the... 9th? 8th. 8th of July. So... We started at home and then we went to Gozo and when we went to Gozo I had a massive flare up and I know I was vlogging there but I didn't actually um, speak about it because I just didn't really feel like boring you with the details of it and um, and anyway we kind of had to like we continued with the ultimate relationship program but it took us a while to complete it because then we obviously had to go back to work and we didn't want to rush through it we wanted to enjoy it and obviously i was having a flare up and i needed to slow down and i needed to, to heal well. we need to take stuff in we like we're learning a lot we got tan we got tan um hey you're wearing your shirt so anyway and i took i took some time off that's why you haven't seen vlogs from me because i took some time off to recover um but i'm much better now and we completed the ultimate relationship program last night yep. yes and video. last video and we did all our homework we did all the exercises and yeah we completed all uh, we, com we did all the exercises and everything and so we wanted to tell you a bit about why we did it why we chose to do it and what we gained from it so anyway it's a month later we're in this beautiful setting check it out and um yeah so let's begin with yeah. with why why we chose to do it so completing the ultimate relationship program was a part of a goal hashtag wealthy so hashtag wealthy like for the past yeah we've been working on growing our finances individually and obviously we're a couple we're married so we need to figure out how to do that together right to keep growing now ultimate relationship program doesn't speak about money but we felt it was important for us to do it because one we wanted to deepen continue to deepen and enrich our relationship right like kind of we've always wanted to have a a good relationship an enjoyable relationship a passionate relationship so like we you need to put in the energy if you want that right um, a plant doesn't grow without sunlight and water and relationships don't grow without love and time and energy, time and energy yeah. no so that was one of the reasons why we did it and also like okay we can grow our finances together but what the hell is the point in growing your finances if you're ultimately gonna spend it on a divorce <laughs> And also like kind of you can grow your finances together but if your vision isn't aligned for why you're doing it and how you want to spend your money and how you want to invest it and the kind of experiences you want to share then you're gonna end up spending it in ways that's not fulfilling so you're gonna end up feeling poor anyway um, a bit, so essentially yeah. it's about learning how to share so learning about what we want and learning how to communicate it with each other yeah. to me like more than hashtag wealthy it's just about growth like about about learning to, to grow together so like yeah. learning to grow together <laughs> learning to grow together so it was like hashtag uh, togetherness yeah yeah hashtag growth hashtag togetherness Nicola boom boom yeah. <laughs> hi Nicola well, do you want to mention why you chose to do it why it was important for you well, uh, for the reasons I said essentially it was important just to be able to understand how to better communicate between us and deepen our relationship so that we can continue growing you know it's like the same metaphor of the plant deeper roots deeper like higher branches so yeah it was that that kind of thing like yeah not just reaching up but also like reaching down and being able to understand each other better and i mean it was fun as well so it's a very interesting course yeah yeah no it's super interesting course um and also another reason why i chose to do it is just because i i love learning about this stuff and like the more that i learn if i'm a continuous learner then i can provide a better quality service to my clients obviously so yeah, she was nerding I, out a lot so i was totally nerding I out i was totally into her. it so i love it um okay so now what are the two main things that we took from from the program do you want to go first or shall i 
Um, uh, one of the main things was looking at uh, people's dynamics, so it was very interesting to understand how different people react to different situations and uh, it's basically the way the course is structured. There's like theory part at the beginning and then there's a lot of videos which show interventions which Tony Robbins did on different people in different situations with like a commentary. Uh, and even there's like work to do, so like the video will stop and ask you questions, so you like reflect so I, I on think your one own. Of the, one of the biggest thing was to like share your thoughts with each other. That was quite yeah powerful. Like right? yeah, totally. And uh, you want to do one? Huh? You do one now. Okay, one yeah. Each. Um, Ping -pong. Like for me, one thing I took from it was like like you're saying the sharing because it was it was deep. But um, he looked at me funny. <laughs> But um, it was also, um, like for me, one of the things that came out was feminine and masculine energy and how the polarity of that is important for sexual um, attraction. For passion. For passion. Long-term passion. Long passion. And how, like I already knew about it, but I didn't know much about it. So for me, it was like very interesting because it, it was a question mark in my head and I wanted to explore it further. So um, it, it taught us a lot. It got me reflecting and... Um, yeah, experimenting with feminine energy, more feminine energy. So it was very interesting. And you? I suppose the second thing would be, well, one, watching how people change. So like watching the interesting thing is like, but I think an interesting part for me was listening to how people express what they want, but then eventually like finding out what they need. So like kind of like mm -hmm. experiencing this translation between how people ask for something and, and then yes. like the kind of background needs or yeah because are generating because you go place. a lot into the six yeah. human needs so you understand like how you're meeting are you meeting your partner's needs to what degree are you meeting their needs is your partner meeting yours you know so that's yeah, that was also interesting that was to share. super like, interesting it was a bit difficult i suppose because we were like rated each other on how like how we fulfill each other's yeah. needs yeah but it was interesting at least it's like you know where you stand so yeah and also i learned for example that i need to meet your need for variety more for example and yeah to have some fun to have some fun <laughs> <laughs> so hashtag hashtag plenty <laughs> and another thing that i took from it was just kind of the closeness because we you know we prioritized the time for it we honored the time for it you know we scheduled it um and and we made it fun you know like we had yeah. we went to gozo we we made sure we went swimming so that the whole experience was like it didn't feel like work you know yeah. i mean it was work. it work was work there was a lot of, like, was a lot of work and it's not like all smooth you know like we argued you know but it was good it was yeah. good arguing it was constructive arguing you know because you get really honest and you have very heartfelt conversations which we had already been practicing it wasn't like something brand new for us but, no, but it, still, it took like, us to another kind of like level to share like so then eventually when you share there's kind of like that moment where you need to negotiate so. mm. need to negotiate yeah what do you mean you need to kind of like say how you feel and you say how you feel and then you realize it's not exactly the same and then you kind of go like you know you kind of like say okay like where are we gonna go like how we yeah. do this yeah yeah how do we move forward from this yeah yeah, yeah the video working as a negotiating team within a relationship no yes i think it was either you recorded with ken or oh. one of the first uh -huh, yes uh, it could be with ken the one of boundaries i yeah. think yeah okay i could link that below actually I her videos more than she does so yes, for me it was the closeness, you know, like enjoying being together, having fun, um, you know, and I feel like it's, it, um, I don't know, it reminded me of the trust that we share, like how much trust we share and that, you know, like kind of, it's not about having everything figured out, it's not about having a perfect relationship, it's not about always being happy together, it's about valuing what you do share as a couple and um, building on that and building on it and trusting and respecting and realizing saying what, what you, you need to let go of and realizing what, you, what like what the other person needs and like stating that. what you need like for me this is absolutely important like you know and honoring that in each other not saying oh but i give you this and uh, like kind of just actually like tuning into each other what really matters you know so yeah so I think we can round this up. Is there anything else you want to say? Round this up. We can round this up. I just I just want Nicola to, to look at how much time Emma's been talking, how much time I've been talking, because she was telling me I talk too much. <laughs> Nicola, yes. you tell us. You tell us. So guys, you would have noticed that um, the vlogs have a slightly different, uh, uh, I don't know, quality to them lately, a different flow. That's because you know. 
A Life I Choose has a creative content assistant and that's Nicola and she's editing the vlogs. So uh, give Nicola a warm welcome by giving us a like please and give, give, you know, give us a like too because you know we're nice peoples, we're, we're nice peoples, no? <laughs> I don't know why you don't go along with me with this, you always like embarrass me. <laughs> anyway, so Give us a like and subscribe because we upload videos every yeah. um, twice every two weeks, twice a week now, and um, and hit the little bell notification so that you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And we wish we wish you love and we wish you uh, joyfulness and health and wellness and uh, peace. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>